The Declaration of Independence was written with black ink on paper that was white, written to enhance one group's quality of life while keeping the other simply out of sight. In America, hero, president, and royalty all had white faith. In a history book, nothing is mentioned about the invisible race. One such hero, General Custer, was immortalized for his famous last stand, but he died trying to take from the Indians their rightful land. President Kennedy and his brother had to die for supporting the Negro civil rights leaving many more afraid to continue the fight. Japanese citizens were rounded up and placed in camp at the start of World War II, but the Japanese citizens received restoration because some say it's the right thing to do. American Indians will offer their own reservation to live out their impoverished lives. Ask many of them today, they still say that the white man is full of jobs. In 2005, one county in South Carolina still refused to honor Dr. Keem Day. Shoot, they still believe that the army uniform are still the color of gray. Also in 2005, it's absurd for black to act and receive some form of restoration. Japanese got compensated, Jews got their Holocaust memorial, and the Indians got their gambling reservation. However, black must face the fact an invisible man can never be seen. That's why the white must continue to avoid the issue in order to keep their hands clean. Now, go to any turn of the century cemetery to find a native slave. They're easy to spot. Just stop at any unmarked grave.